our technology and our miseducation of our children is dwindling downward or upward to the parenting aspect of having children. Whereas we have babies having babies and not being equipped to teach a young child anything. Um, it's important to have some sort of education yourself before you attempt to teach anyone anything, especially your own child. Um, I, I love the aspect of having a respect for senior citizens, a respect for just grown-ups. You don't have to be a senior, just a grown-up. It's important that we realize that our youth is in trouble. And in being in trouble, their only help is us. And we have to first be ground-based in the spirituality of the Creator in order to help our youth. Thank you. Uh, Byron here. I want to talk, to thank, rather, our Brother Melvin for his introduction to today's program because he has a key word, and the key word is teaching. Now, we've been in this uh, matrix for quite some time, and what we've been talking about uh, really are the problems that we've been, uh, we're faced with and their analysis. And we haven't really given you any uh, quote-unquote solutions. And uh, Brother Melvin says teaching, and that's the key word we'll, we'll, we'll begin with on this broadcast, but I, I really, I, I'm disconcerted. My heart is heavy. Uh, I've been talking about this problem, and Brother Melvin has been talking about the problems. We've been interacting with people from across the country, and I've remained objective, but today, today, uh, I'm forced to be rather subjective because the problem has been brought into my neighborhood. Um, I'm talking about somebody that I do know, and it's hard to be objective. It's hard to be off, you know, somewhere looking at the problem and saying this should happen and, and that should happen. And I, I know that we've got to be very, 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 very specific in what we say because I learned something this morning when I found out that one of our neighbors who is in the third grade and who has the body of an eighth grader uh, has several fears. One fear is that she won't go around uh, her friend's brothers because she's afraid that her friend's brothers will hit on her. And the other reason is she won't go around her uncles because her uncles will take advantage of her youth and her innocence. And the little girl is in a mill of a hess, especially since that she hasn't responded uh, positive to, positively to these uh, two male dimensions. They put a word out on her that she and her best girlfriend are freaking each other. And that hurts. Because it hurts because I know what I was going to say to you today. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's going to be enough. If it's really going to be, going to hit home and solve the problem or, or really now address the problem. Here this third grader is using a term that I, I don't know what it means, but I can think of what it means. And I know that uh, she is upset by whatever they said that she and her girlfriend are doing. Uh, I see you can understand that you, you can, uh, if you can't empathize with me, you can sympathize with me. Well, let, 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 let's, let's get in today. Um, our, our respondent uh, communicated with us and the person uh, who did the responding had to know me because they, they called me by my nickname, Jimmy. 
And uh, I don't think I've used, ever used Jimmy in reference to me in any of our television programs, etc. But she said, Jimmy, I cannot believe that you said that. And what I said was, why should we absorb the cost when we did not have the fun in making the baby? Well, I'm sorry, I'm not going to back down off of that. Um, and uh, that's an issue that I'm sure we'll get back to. But let's get to, to today. Um, 65 years ago, I'm sorry, 63 years ago, uh, I belonged to an erudite uh, group of scholars, and we were doing some community work out in Seattle, Washington. And uh, many of us belonged to a variety of churches. There were Baptists, there were Methodists, there were Episcopalians, there were Presbyterians, there were Catholics uh, on this uh, august body. And we were reporting to the various communities about what our study was uncovering and uh, what recommendations we uh, as educators and scholars had to make. And uh, we say, what better uh, community to uh, report to than the church? And Archie was the reporter on this Sunday, and we were reporting at a church called People's Institutional Baptist. Now, I, most of my life I grew up Baptist. I became apostolic uh, as a senior in, in college. And uh, I understood uh, the Baptist mechanism, and I understood that the Baptists had a, uh, a, an amen corner where the sisters who occupied that amen corner would support the pastor as he preached. And I, I understood the dynamics of uh, being getting happy and shouting. Um, and you kind of expected this every time we went to church. We uh, we say that if 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 somebody in the church didn't shout or get happy, uh, the preacher really didn't preach. Well, we tried to force Archie to talk to us about the subject area that he was going to report on uh, to this church congregation, and he wouldn't do it. He held his peace until he was uh, introduced, and when he got up and began to talk. He told uh, that waiting congregation that when a young lady got pregnant in the, and she belonged to the church, the church, like the schools of in that day, put her out. Now here's an aside. What about the boys? Again, they get away scot free. Well, well, well. He told that waiting congregation that the church is partly at fault. And uh, the concepts that uh, he enumerated, and I'll spell out a few, um, drove that church into silence. There were no amens coming from the amen corner that Sunday. There were no hallelujahs and there were no preach and there was uh, no words called speak, no pushing him on. Jaws were set. Arms were folded, and people stared at him in almost disbelief because he was he said that we the church don't teach our young people about some of the concepts uh, called adultery, called fornication, called birth controls, called bizarre sexual behaviors, and since we don't teach them that. And they mature and learn these from the streets. When the young girl gets pregnant, we are ready to sit uh, in judgment. We put the young ladies out of church. We put them out. The schools at that time would put a pregnant young lady out of school. Uh, the schools have learned something differently differently. 